Hello friends. This presentation is a part of NMICD project sponsored by MHRD, Government of India. Today I would like to discuss about L-lysine fermentation. Introduction As we all know, L-lysine is an amino acid. So, let's start our discussion with amino acids. There are 20 naturally occurring amino acids which are required for the synthesis of a variety of proteins besides other biological functions. However, all these 20 amino acids need not to be taken in the diet. Based on the nutritional requirements amino acids are grouped into two classes, essential and non-essential. Introduction As we all know, L-lysine is an amino acid. So, let's start our discussion with amino acids. There are 20 naturally occurring amino acids which are required for the synthesis of a variety of proteins besides other biological functions. However, all these 20 amino acids need not to be taken in the diet. Based on the nutritional requirements amino acids are grouped into two classes, essential and non-essential. The amino acids which cannot be synthesized by the body and therefore, need to be supplied through the diet are called essential amino acids. They are required for proper growth and maintenance of the individual. Opposite to that the amino acids which can be synthesized by the body and therefore, need not to be supplied through the diet are called non-essential amino acids. L. Lysine is commercially important amino acid as it is one of essential amino acids. It improves the feed quality by increasing absorption of other amino acids. Thus, protein quality of certain foods e.g. wheat-based foods is improved resulting in an improved growth and tissue synthesis. Generally L-lysine is used in the animal feed industry as feed stuff additive. It is not used solely but mixed with several common livestock like cereals which do not have enough amount of L-lysine. It is mainly used for monogastric animals like humans, rats, pigs, dogs, cats, horses and rabbits. There are various chemical and biochemical methods available for L-lysine production. One can choose the method, whichever is more economic. Let's see some historical highlights of L-lysine production. L-lysine was first isolated from casein, in 1889. After that for half a century L-lysine has been mass produced by bacterial fermentation of carbohydrates. Around in 1960, L-lysine was commercially introduced as a feed additive. Recent method of lysine production is based on fermentation of carbohydrates like beet and cane sugar for starch sugars. First fermented L-lysine was produced by Japanese company Kyohapo Kojon in 1978. There are three amino acids which are produced at large scale, L-lysine L-glutamic acid and d l methionine So, Lysine is one amongst them which covering more than 90% of total world amino acid production. The amino acids which cannot be synthesized by the body and therefore, need to be supplied through the diet are called essential amino acids. They are required for proper growth and maintenance of the individual. Opposite to that the amino acids which can be synthesized by the body and therefore, need not to be supplied through the diet are called non-essential amino acids. fermentation medium, apart from physical parameters like pH, agitation and aeration rate and temperature, media composition is very important factor. The seed culture to be prepared is inoculated in media having simple sources like glucose, 20 gram peptone, 10 gram meat extract, 5 gram sodium chloride, 2.5 gram in 1 liter of tap water. Seed culture obtained is re-inoculated for second seed culture in media containing complex sources like molasses, 
200 gram soy protein hydrolysate 18 gram in 1 L tap water after obtaining first and second media production media is used which includes corn steep liquor ammonium sulfate with a roll cap of 3 incubation for 72 hours at 28 degrees raw materials Various sources of carbohydrates can be used as raw material but now selection of raw material is based on geographic location. For example, sugar from beet and cane is used as raw material in regions with intensive sugar manufacturing. As we know cultivation of starchy crops such as cane and beet is economic as well as feasible. Their use as raw material becomes feasible in various countries including the United States. In the United States, cane sugar is frequently used for industrial applications. Besides sugar, corn has recently become part of a biofuel economy. A new trend in this field is the use of cassava, which is the main crop of tropical areas. Because of this lysine production is progressively migrating to tropical or subtropical areas where cheap sources of carbohydrates are available. Effect of Oxygen as L lysine fermentation is an aerobic fermentation process it demands large amounts of oxygen. Their necessity is satisfied by the air saturation in bioreactor. To maintain aerobic conditions, oxygen containing gaseous mixtures e.g. atmospheric air or pure oxygen is aseptically added to the culture. Effect of pH and temperature, as LICO to requirement, pH and temperature plays an important role in L lysine fermentation. The pH is an essential parameter which strongly influences microbial fermentations. L-lysine fermentation requires a pH ranging from 5 to 9. Optimum temperature requirement for L-lysine production is between 24 degrees C to 37 O C for 2 to 7 days. Banded foams are generally added to control foaming occurring during fermentation. Banded foams which are used in L-lysine fermentation include fatty acid polyglycol esters or silicone and polypropylene. L-lysine fermentation technology. Various fermentations are used for commercial production of amino acid like 1. Batch fermentation. Batch fermentation is closed culture system in which an initial amount of nutrients remain limited. So, Nutrients soon become limited and growth of organisms ceased as they enter in the stationary phase. Amino acid synthesis generally starts in the early log phase and continues throughout stationary phase. 2. Federal Batch Fermentation Batch fermentation which continuously or intermittently fed with medium without removal of broth is termed as Federal Batch Fermentation. 3. The Continuous Fermentation Turkey Mostad Continuous fermentation is an open system in which sterile nutrients are continuously added to the fermenter as well as produced product with microorganisms is simultaneously removed from the bioreactor. Last but most important task is downstream processing of L-lysine. Product separation and purification is a very important factor enormously affecting fermentation process effectiveness and production costs. L-lysine is recovered from fermentation broth in various ways. L-lysine the resultant culture broth can be recovered by known conventional methods such as using ion exchange resins, or by directly crystallization of L-lysine from culture broths. For many years, L-lysine, HCL solid has been produced following various steps such as separation, purification, crystallization and drying. After cell separation by cell filtration or centrifugation, L-lysine may be recovered from fermentation brought by an ion exchange step and thereafter concentrated by evaporation and spray drying. Effect of Oxygen As L-lysine fermentation is an aerobic fermentation process it demands large amounts of oxygen. Their necessity is satisfied by the air saturation in bioreactor. To maintain aerobic conditions, Oxygen-containing gaseous mixtures e.g. atmospheric air or pure oxygen is aseptically added to the culture. 